डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज फॉर मेटल मास्टर ना वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूज इन मेटल मास्टर सो वॉट एपन इन युअर एसिड इंडस्ट्री देर आर वेन यूर यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ मेटल मास्टर अगेन एंड अगेन यू हैव टू कीप ऑन अपडेटिंग सेम वैल्यूज ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लाइक सी इफ आई गो बैक हियर फ्रॉम हियर मेटल मास्टर ओके आई विल सेव इट गो बैक ओके नाउ वेन आई क्लिक एंटर बटन आई हैव टू अगेन एंड अगेन सिलेक्ट बेसिक डेटा वन बेसिक डेटा टू राइट then i have to select mrp 1 2 3 4 this is my required okay i require work scheduling view i required accounting one accounting two so guys are you able to see this uh, text over here any text text sentences what do you mean sir okay captions are you able to see caption add caption okay leave it okay so these are the different views i have to select again and again so what i can do i can select all the views whatever i want and i can make them default setting can you see defaults values okay yes sir so i will click on this and now i will proceed further now what happened i have been here now again i will go back slash n mm01 okay i mean mm02 slash n mm02 okay and if i click enter button i can see automatically all the values have been selected now okay mm -hmm. i don't have to select again manually it is happening automatically so this is the uh, benefit of having default values so you understand how we can make a default values this is first thing now when i click on uh, further okay i am going here okay but when i go for mrp1 i am going for directly in 1000 plant but what happened if you go slash n mm01 okay and try to enter okay directly system is given default values okay hold on slash n mm01 we are directly jumping in 1000 plant okay so if you go to organization level you can see here plant 1000 is made default okay let me remove this values okay make let me remove this values okay okay we'll default value is it okay now slash n n02 okay for laptop b14 now if i try to go further okay if i try to jump to mrp1 system is asking me please provide organizational data and storage location okay when i going to mrp1 mrp1 2 3 are my plant wise views where i have to update which plant i want to go for basic data one basic data two are universal so there is no stoppage okay so how we can achieve this how we can make this values default this value also can be make default because see if you are person who are working for plant 1000 then you always going to see the data for 1000 plant so it is very much easy for you to update this value as a default value so here organization values are there you can click to organization value you can say i would like to see always plant 1001 value for storage of 001 and i can make it default setting okay this this is not available here okay default setting so whenever i click mrp1 it will directly jump without asking me to plant 1000 clear okay so second default value are you understand Team, I hope it is clear. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Let's move ahead. Next is these are two things we talk. Okay, storage location plan. Now we can create a MRP profile. Okay, and with transaction MMD one, and it can be used while material master creation MRP one four one two four view. Now see, you can see MRP one is having different different data. Okay, this is just some data like material type, MRP control, lot size. Okay. then we are having in mrp2 procurement type uh, in house uh, production grp time or back flush value or production storage location okay these are the different or safety stock these are the different values in mrp2 3 4 okay in here we have to update some strategy availability checks okay in mrp4 we are having some different values so these three values mrp1 2 3 4 are very common okay every time we have to update this value as a production or from mm perspective also we have to update some values over here so again and again updating same value is going to be a 
tedious or uh, non value adding task for end user or super user who is creating master data so what you can get a constraint or complaint from end user if i know that i am going to create a laptop and every time my laptop values of mrp 1 2 3 4 are very much common very much common okay for every laptop so what is the need why we have to create again and again same value can we have some reference template i will just select that template and will it will copy the values to my new material are you getting my point what user is saying user is don't want to invest his time again and again create giving this value every time he, whenever you create a material suppose if i go to slash and mm01 okay suppose i'm creating another material b144 okay laptop b1 sorry i have to select uh, fault okay fault finish material okay b144 so this value has been selected good one now he will go and type here laptop b14 fg material he will select unit of measure each okay that's good okay then he will jump to directly to mrp1 u okay mrp1 u here system is asking okay provide pd is going to be common so why again i have to put material controller i have to give one material. then if i try to move it it will ask, provide lot size if time consuming can you see he has to update every value and then he is able to move triple zero one why i have to update all this value again and again because this value is common for all material okay team are you getting my point so yeah. can we have some automation something like that so that my material values are going to be very easily updated okay and we can have a time saving okay counting to accounting to first thing one first thing two okay now i have created a laptop b14 now if i going to create another material okay laptop b144 triple four suppose so can i save my time can i have something template do you understand what user is saying mrp123 value should become automatically for that we have to create mrp profile for that we have to create mrp profile with the t code mmd1 so let us go to ticket slash o mmd1 okay now in mmd1 we have to give a number of profile so some template name to that so i will say this is my b15 template okay mrp profile I will enter. Now here I will write B15 MRP profile for laptop. Okay. See, you are having different, different materials, right? You have laptop, you are having uh, keyboards, you are having something, 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 a lot of things, but they are going to be repeat again and again. So you can have different number, uh, rate, sorry, not number range. We can have some different values. Now here, there are some values are going to be right protected and there are only default values so there are two things right protected means you cannot change the value once it is given you cannot override that value so what i'm saying my mrp type is always going to be pd okay my uh schedule margin key okay safety uh, okay safety okay this is going to be changed this value i can keep on changing okay in future okay then plan delivery time i can change okay I can have in house manufacturing time also can be changed. When. Schedule margin key, it is going to be fixed value. Safety stock is going to be my changing value. So, this value, right protected, you cannot change it. They are going to become gray field, and these values are going to be editable. So, this way we are going to create. Okay. You have everybody clear up till now? We have selected yes, some values yes. which is, we are going to be updated. Lot size. If lot size is going to be fixed EX always. Okay. Something like that. Now I will go to data screen one. Okay, here MRP type, I want to make it PD. MRP controller, I want to make it triple zero one. Okay, triple zero one. Plan delivery time is going to be one. In house production time is going to be one. Schedule margin key. So what is the star? It is going to be a fixed value, guys. You can see this is red. Red means what? What we are going to update now, this value cannot be changed. Okay, it is going to get locked. Okay, lot size is going to be EX. Okay, and I will save this. Okay, now my MRP profile B15 has been created. Okay, now let me go to create a material. I am now creating new material B144. I will press enter button. Okay, I will go to organization value. Okay, and I will give my MRP profile as B15. Everybody clear? I have providing my MRP profile value 
B15. Now I'm going inside the metal creation. Here I will give laptop B144. Okay, FG. I will provide unit of measure each and I will directly jump to MRP1 view. Now you can see if I jump to MRP1 view, values are coming automatically. Team? Yes, sir. It's coming automatically sure, based on setting. Let us go to again editable mode of slash and MMD2. Okay, here I can go and see my MRP profile. What I selected? MRP type, fixed value. Can I have MRP type? Yes, it is fixed. Can you see? It's a gray field. I cannot change this value. Can you see? Okay. But my MRP controller is my default values. So I can do it maintenance. In maintenance, I can change it. So I want to change. I can change this value. I can go and change this value. Okay. I can make it. I can edit this value. Can you see? But some value is coming already. This lot size is fixed value. Can you see lot size? Lot size is a fixed value. So I cannot change this lot size. I hope it is clear up till now. Okay. My next value is uh, in-house time and that is in second field. Okay. Now this, this is completed. Now go to MRP2. In MRP2, you can see procurement type is E coming from your material type. Estate is configuration, huh? not from here. Here in-house production is one. Can you see my in-house production time is default value. So I can change. Okay. Then next is now here guys, we have selected plan delivery time also and in-house time, but plan delivery time is not eligible for your finished good. Finished good is what if you are going to manufacture inside. If you're going to manufacture inside, you're not going to procure from outside. Okay. If you are not going to procure outside. So what is the meaning of plan delivery time to giving over here? So this value is getting disabled. It is not showing over here because of your configuration type E. Okay. Instead we see how to make material in-house and uh, mandatory and all okay now here this value schedule margin key this schedule margin key is updated as a schedule margin key as a default or uh, fixed value so we cannot change this value okay do you understand team everybody yes huh? yes sir. okay so this is the way we can save the timings or uh, unnecessary uh, time wasted done by the super user or whatever uh, people who is going to create a material master, he or she can save their time. Okay. But give me some values to the laptop. Okay. Save. Done. Okay. Okay. Tim. So with this uh, note, we will stop over here. Okay.